Family and friends and co-workers gathered today at the St. Teresa's RC Church in Woodbrook to say a final farewell to former member of the TTT family, Hamilton Clement. Clem, as he was affectionately known, passed away during the early hours of Sunday morning at the Port of Spain General Hospital following a prolonged illness. Crystal Wilson attended the service and has more in this report. Tears were few, but a great sense of loss and sadness lingered throughout the St. Theresa's Roman Catholic Church on Thursday as relatives and friends of former TTT employee Hamilton Clement gathered to bid him farewell. Among those gathered to pay their respects were former colleagues Tony Fraser, Jones P. Madeira and acting CEO of TTT, Kiel Sigobin. Delivering the first part of the eulogy was Mr. Clement's brother, Dr. Martinez Clement, who spoke fondly of his brother's passion for the media industry. He said his brother has left a lasting legacy. He always used to tell me, Martin, the biggest story is the story behind the story. Hamilton has so many stories that will live forever. His light has gone out, but there is still an ember, a flavor. It will always, always, always live in our hearts. Lifelong friend and former colleague Kenny De Silva spoke of Mr. Clement's contribution to taking Parang music to the airwaves. Hamilton Clement, along with Leo De Leon, took Parang from the country, the deep areas of the country, and brought it all over Trinidad and Tobago. Chief celebrant Father Peter de Labastide, who also worked with Mr. Clement during the days of Radio 610, recalled how Mr. Clement once reluctantly, but very gracefully, handled notifying him of disciplinary action against him. So if somebody had, was getting a boof, a programming boof, you would go into the continuity studio, the on-air studio, and it would be tacked onto the board with just your name visible. So you took it off on your radio memo. In my case, Clem called me to his office, and he handed me the memo of my suspension, almost apologetically. Mr. Clement was later laid to rest at the Woodbrook Public Cemetery. He was 84. Crystal Wilson, TTT News. And back here at TDT, where Mr. Clement spent the last of his working days before his retirement in 2017, former colleagues recalled fond memories of working with a man whom they referred to as a perfectionist. One person remembered his dedication to duty and said what was thought to be his last day of work wasn't actually so as he showed up at the office the day after his going away party. And in remembering Clem, Sweet 100's Rhea Roop Chan Singh said, his nature was always to encourage her to find greatness within herself. It was always, I had utmost respect for him. Uh, it was a little bit scary sometimes because you knew that he wanted a certain standard, a certain quality of work. So you knew you kind of had to be on your P's and Q's, but it pushed you to do better and to be better. And Mr. Clement's former sales colleague, Pat Doherty, said she will miss him dearly. She recalled his love for playing lotto and playway and described him as a true gentleman. To me, he was very passionate about his work, and that is what I loved about him. And you, don't, you didn't mess with his work at all. Um, he was a gentleman to everyone that came. 